Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be doing number 51 on the CSET Multi-Subject Math and Science Teacher Certification Exam in California. Uh, I'll start by reading over the question. And then I, as I read it over, I want you to visualize the scenario. Because we're going to do that model drawing to help us organize the information. But in order to do that, draw that picture, you've got to see what's happening. So I'll read it over, visualize what's going on here. All right, so number 51. The range of hourly wages for 15 employees of a small company start at $7.50 and ends at $21.40. If only one worker receives the median wage of $8.90, how many workers receive a higher hourly wage? Now read it to yourself. Read to yourself, and I started to put quotations around these, but... Uh, Think about these ones too as well. See if you can at this point, see if you can draw a picture, just a quick sketch that helps organize the information. For example, we're told that there are 15 employees. So I'm going to draw a little picture. I'm going to draw, I'm going to do dashes here. Each one of these is one of the employees. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And we could actually put numbers. This is employee one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. I just list out the employees. We're told that. This first person here gets $7.50 per hour. And this last person, well, they get $21.50 an hour. And this is, this is that range part, the, the difference between the lowest and highest points. And then we have a middle person. And there's only one middle worker here. Well, what is the middle number, the median number? Well, then you've got to use your background knowledge on finding the, uh, the mean, the median number. And you always want to write the, the data points from least to greatest, and we already have that already set up. If you're thinking finding the median, you do first and last. You keep on crossing them out. Keep on going. The 4 and the 12, the 5 and the 11, the 6 and the 9. Did I, did I actually make a boo-boo? Maybe I did. 2 and the 14, 3 and the 13, 4 and the 12, 5 and the uh, 11, 6 and the 10, 7 and the 9. You get the middle number of 8. Now look, I made a little mistake there. Um, I caught myself. I caught myself because I remembered that we're only supposed to have one person receiving that median that median, sal median salary of $8.90. So as long as you catch yourself when you make a mistake like that, that's okay. And I caught myself because I read it over very carefully and I'm like, yeah, there's only one person in the middle there. It shouldn't be two numbers in the middle. It should be one person is the median. And then if we want to find out how many workers receive a higher wage than that middle number, well then once we have the eight, we're like person nine gets a high higher wage and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all these people get a higher wage. So we say seven people get a higher wage. Okay, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Stay tuned for more, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.